Hey y'all, welcome back. Uh, today we're playing a little bit more of Beer Factory, uh, the full release of the game. When I say full release, I should mention this is still early access. The game is still being worked out, the bugs are being fixed, uh, it's being patched every day as of this moment of recording. Uh, so sit back, enjoy yourself, and get ready for some fun adventures in this little beer factory we got. Alright, so picking up, up from the playtest, um, what we're going to do is start moving forward once again. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is actually get the brewery uh, started up. Uh, so, looking around here in the menu, I gotta find... Yep, there we go. Alright, perfect. So, now we have the brewery unlocked. I guess we're gonna be making the beers down here. Uh, pretty spacious, though. I'm excited to see what's all in here. Alright, let's take a run down this ramp and see what we got to start with. Alright, oh, got some storage on the left. That's great. A hallway over there, and then it's kind of just a big open space at the moment. I see the wood back there. It looks like an office, too. All right, we can work with this. All right, let's uh, get our toolbox out, and we'll get the brew tank set up here. All right. A little finicky with trying to get this position. Let's see shelves, so we'll put the shelves on the back. And hard to get it in place. It's locking weirdly. Okay. But it's down, so that's all that matters. All right, and then, let's see, we got the tank down. All right, so we can buy upgrades, logos, and recipes. Okay, so let's make a recipe here. All right, looks like we can kind of do different things here. There's spices, okay. Oh, then you just adjust these meters, okay. Um, What's it need? So what if we just do like, Let's just throw this out there and see what happens. Colors. What do the colors do? And I'm changing them all to gray, even though I want something different. So that's odd. Why won't it change colors? Oh, okay. So by default, it's set to... Oh, that's really odd. All right, let's just slap some colors on there for now. Here's the logo. Uh, I'm not gonna really mess with that too much. So yeah, let's just create this. Looks good. Um, all right, so now we need to order water. Where do we order water at? Oh, here it is, okay. Uh, I'll just grab whatever and toss it in there. That looks okay. Huh? Going up, yeah, it's not too expensive, so let's just get that. And do I need to do anything else? I guess not. Malt, yep. Yeah. Alright, water truck is here, and we're going to fill it up, and... where? Okay, he's pushing me in. Where are you going? The water tank's back there, sir. Are you... Are your hoses on the other side? Why didn't... He should have just kind of backed up instead on it. That's weird, but okay. We got the space. We got the room. All right, he's parking. All right, cool. Oh, oh thanks for... I'm right here, bud. It's okay. All right, uh, I guess we just spin this to get the water pumped in. Oh, it's running. Looking good. All right, let's take uh, the yeast down to the brood tank here. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I am stuck. My forklift's breakdancing. Uh, well, this is going to be a pain to get out of. <laughs> okay, yes. Early access games. It's going to be okay. Our beer factory will survive this. A little tight, though. Kind of wish this was a little bit more wide open. Sort of like the space for the water truck to get in. And we wiggle out, wiggle in, wiggle out. I feel like I'm doing the Austin Powers sketch right here. You can do this though. It's a tight corner. Okay. All right. So yeah, we got to get the yeast down here and get it all set up. All right. Now that we got the uh, pallet set here, we're gonna put everything on the shelves. Let's so we just toss them in, and then we actually open the boxes themselves and put the yeast bags on top. Neat little system. Nice way to store boxes and then store individual packets that we might need, since yeast is essential to making beer. All right, let's get these tossed over here. Doing some Kobe action and just 
tossing them as we go. No need to be precise. All right. Those are on. So we'll actually just get the rest of these boxes set up then. And then we'll be along on our way. I didn't show it uh, because it took a while, but my forklift has no power. So I decided to check out the forklift page on the computer. Turns out there's a bunch of things we can do with it. So I'm going to have some fun. Kind of just pick around and see what's going on here. So kind of thing, uh, just same colors, kind of like with the beer boxes or the beer we were doing. So messing around with it, just kind of seeing what we have. Now I'm going to go with the classic forklift look. I'm going to put a uh, roof on it. Um, and then let's mess with the colors a little bit and see what's going on. Now I'm a fan of awesome hot pink colors. So I think that's apt for our forklift around the shop. Messing around with the other colors for the lights and stuff, but... I really just like the body paints overall. All right, so that'll wrap it up for the forklift. Hopefully it's a little bit better behind the scenes. Now we've unlocked the uh, bottling room. Uh, in here, what we'll do is actually just bottle the beer. You can see here it's full of trash right now, so it needs a little bit of a cleanup. All right, so let's go check it out. We'll get it cleaned up and see what we can do with this bad boy. This place is filthy and I don't know what to do. So we're going to get it all opened out, aired out, and hopefully the inspector does not come while we're working on this. So the easiest thing to do is probably just grab all these trash bags and toss them over there. I'll actually hire my workers as well to help me clean up the process and get moving forward with this huge clean out. Oh, all right. We got some hybrids set up for our forklift. So we'll give that a shot and see if it's anything worthwhile. All right, so just really some garbage to pick up and we'll uh, hop forward and see what else is happening in the factory. I'm trying not to rag on this game too hard, but there's a lot not explained or you got to figure out. So I'm not beer, brewing beer right now because I don't have stairs for the brewery. I didn't know this was a thing that we needed. So I came back down here, was trying to figure it out, and eventually I saw these boxes when I had the wrench out. So I'm trying to figure out how to set that up. Uh, once I get these stairs installed... Uh, I could start brewing beer because I need my guide to take stuff up to the top and put it in for me, basically. Problem is, is that he's actually broken right now um, because I didn't have the stairs in place before. So what I have to tell him to do is basically drop the bag of hops um, and then I pick it up and run it upstairs. Yeah, so it's a little odd. Definitely the early access is showing uh, here and uh, leads for a little bit more to be desired at the moment. So we reassign him. I'll go grab some hops and I'll toss it in to get this beer moving forward. All right, so that's in. Now you can see him going here. So I'm trying to figure out now, how does this process work? So what I'm doing is grabbing yeast uh, and I'm gonna run it up top and see if I can put it in as well. But it looks like it only wants hops at the moment. So we'll let our worker uh, toss that in and leave the process to him for now. All right, back at the beer bottling factory itself. Um, looks like we can start setting everything up. Um, so this is saying it's not storing beer and I need 30 bottles. So I'll go back and fix that and then we'll come back and see what happens. All right, so everything's fixed up. I grabbed some bottles and I got the beer flowing. So now what we need to do is actually uh, pick up all these bottles, uh, unpack them and run the bottle processing uh, steps, which seems pretty neat. So unpack those, um, let's double check here. Okay, yeah, so looks good. It says we can launch, so I guess we'll just try, yeah. All right, it's working. Oh, okay, this is neat. Let's grab these and get them on there since we need 30 total. Okay, wow, and it is cleaning the bottles and looks like it's filling them up and then pushing them out. Okay. Okay. Hey, this is really nice, <laughs> neat and nice. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it's kind of Zen like just the bottles clinking. We're sitting here and I can see here. It's actually packing them up at the end too. Okay. This is your Zen moment. All right, uh, so we got that running. Uh, now we need to open up a dock. 
And what the docks are used for is for shipping the beer that you make. Uh, so we'll get that up and running and see how that works. So let's take our beer to the docks and kind of check it out and see what we need to do. I don't know where to store or where to put these, so I'm, I see this blocked off area, so I'm just going to drop them off here, even though it says I should keep it clear, but don't tell anybody I own the factory, so it doesn't matter. Oh, pallet's a little mad, my forklift's a little beat up, but it's okay. It's been through worse around here. So now we've got to figure out how to what to do with this beer and where it's going to go, so I know there's an office over here and we'll check it out. All right, so this is the crane, and I think we use this actually to pick up pallets and send them off. A bunch of different camera views, which I know they added immediately after release, which is nice. So in order to do this, oh, okay. Oh, you can buy stuff off the market too, okay. All right, there's distribution. Looks like if I brew enough, I can ship it off for extra experience and points. Or, sorry, looks like money and uh, reputation. Okay. Um, here's the dock manager. So it looks like I can order trucks and have them come here. Okay. I guess that's what we'll put our beer in and ship it off, and we'll see what happens from there. All right, now that the truck is here, we'll hop on the camera and get the crane moving. Honestly, this was the best camera angle I found. It's kind of hard to use any other camera angle. I'd rather just be topped out and grabbing pallets. Uh, so we'll line it up like the crane game at the arcade. And get it latched and pick it up. Ooh, a little too close. All right. Is there any other cameras that make this easier? No, just docks. Nope. Okay. Uh, we'll just swing it back here and see what happens. Oh, oh got to lift it up and then we can set it in there. Okay. Not bad. And then unhook it. Bring it back up and get out of there. All right. Um, so is that process automatic then? Oh, nope. Exit and sell. Okay. All right. So I guess he's heading out then. Let's take a look. Yep. There he goes. Well, it's kind of the end of the game for now. <laughs> There's no objectives or anything else to do at the moment. So I guess maybe next episode we'll kind of just get our empire up and running and we'll see what happens. All right, so I know I talked earlier about this being an early access game. So they actually have a roadmap inside of the game for everybody to look at. Um, as they mentioned in the paragraph above, everything's free. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how the game kind of develops. Um, so things they have here, AI enhancement. Uh, improving the AI behavior and animations. Um, employees take what they need from storage, which would be really nice. At the current moment, you have to run around and get everything done. Um, crane and unload heavy trucks would be nice. Um, that's kind of it for that. Uh, they'll be interesting for them to go on smoke breaks and whatnot. Uh, the security seems kind of nice, but it, nothing major, except for you have to fight Francis once in a blue moon. Uh, beer cans will be fun, kind of having glass bottles and beer cans. Uh, beer kegs as well. That'll be definitely something new and fun to do. Um, and then let's take a look at the next slide. And it seems like they're going to do some controller compatibility and then miscellaneous content. So unlock spices, um, dialogues, uh, palettes, um, statistic tracking. So that'll be fun. Um, definitely has some bugs. A lot of things had to work around. I had a lot of times where I had to cut content out of this video because it was just a lot of uh, menial work of moving pallets and stuff like that and a lot of bugs. Um, trucks not leaving, uh, my forklift getting stuck. So it is very, very early access. Definitely has some work that needs to be done. But overall, I think it'll be fun in the future um, when they get some more updates kind of rolling and getting the, the biggest thing for me, in my opinion, is having the workers grab stuff from storage and trucks for you. I think that'll really be a game changer. All right. So thank you for watching this video. Please, if you enjoyed it, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Anything helps out with this channel and getting these videos produced. I'm just the one man operation that likes playing simulation games. So thank you again. Uh, please have a great day. and I'll see you again soon.